Let's start with the first part, being silent. In our noisy world, silence has become a rare commodity. We're constantly bombarded with information, opinions, and distractions. Everyone's shouting to be heard, but here's the kicker. True power often lies in silence. You see, when you're silent, you're listening. And when you're listening, you're learning. You're observing, you're gathering intel that others are too busy talking to notice. It's like the old saying goes, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason, use them in that proportion, and you'll be amazed at what you discover. But being silent isn't just about keeping your mouth shut. It's about cultivating inner silence, a sense of calm and clarity that allows you to see things as they truly are, not as you fear them to be or wish them to be. It's about developing that quiet confidence that speaks louder than words ever could. Think about the most powerful people you know. Are they the ones who are always talking, always trying to prove themselves? Or are they the ones who speak less but with more impact? I'll bet it's the latter. They understand the power of silence, the strength it takes to hold your peace when everyone else is losing theirs. Now let's move on to the second part of our philosophy, acting as if you have nothing to lose. This is where things get really interesting. When you act as if you have nothing to lose, you're not being reckless or careless. No, you're tapping into a wellspring of courage and authenticity that most people never access. You're freeing yourself from the chains of fear and doubt that hold so many people back. Think about it. What's the worst that could happen if you go after your dreams with everything you've got? You might fail. So what? Failure is just a stepping stone to success. You might look foolish. Who cares? The opinion of others is none of your business. You might lose everything. Well, here's a secret. You can't lose what you don't cling to. When you combine silence with fearless action, magic happens. You become unstoppable. You're no longer swayed by the opinions of others or paralyzed by your own doubts. Your focus determined and unshakable. Let me tell you a story. Years ago, I met a young entrepreneur who embodied this philosophy perfectly. He didn't say much in meetings, but when he did speak, everyone listened. Why? Because his words carried weight. They were born from careful observation and deep reflection. But what really set him apart was his willingness to take bold action. He wasn't afraid to pursue unconventional ideas or challenge the status quo. When others asked him, aren't you afraid of failing? He simply smiled and said, I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. That combination of thoughtful silence and fearless action propelled him to incredible success. While others were busy talking about their plans, he was out there making things happen. While others were paralyzed by the fear of failure, he was learning from his mistakes and growing stronger with each setback. Now, I can almost hear some of you thinking, that's all well and good, Jim, but Jim, but I'm not like that. I'm not naturally silent or fearless, and to that I say nonsense. These aren't innate traits. They're skills that can be developed, habits that can be cultivated. Let's start with silence. How do you become more comfortable with silence? Well, like anything worthwhile, it takes practice. Start small. Try spending just five minutes a day in complete silence. No phone, no TV, no distractions. Just you and your thoughts. At first, it might feel uncomfortable. Your mind might race filled with worries and to-do lists. That's okay. Just observe these thoughts without judgment. Over time, you'll find that the mental chatter begins to subside. You'll start to hear your own inner voice more clearly, that voice of wisdom and intuition that's often drowned out by the noise of daily life. As you become more comfortable with silence, you'll notice changes in how you interact with others. You'll become a better listener, more attuned to what's being said and what's left unsaid. You'll develop a presence that commands respect without you having to say a word. Now, let's talk about acting as if you have nothing to lose. This doesn't mean being reckless or irresponsible. It means approaching life with a sense of possibility rather than limitation. It means being willing to step out of your comfort zone to take calculated risks in pursuit of your goals. Here's an exercise I want you to try. Think about something you've always wanted to do but haven't because of fear. Maybe it's starting a business, asking someone out on a date, or learning a new skill. Now, Imagine what you would do if you knew you couldn't fail. If all the obstacles and potential negative outcomes were removed, what action would you take? Got it? Good, now here's the kicker. I want you to go out and do that thing. Act as if success is inevitable, as if you truly have nothing to lose. Because here's the truth, you don't. The only thing you have to lose is the opportunity to grow, to learn, to become the person you're meant to be. When you combine silent observation with fearless action, you become unstoppable. You're no longer reacting to life, you're creating it. You're not waiting for opportunities, you're making them. You're not hoping for success, you're pursuing it with everything you've got. But let me be clear, this isn't about becoming someone you're not. It's about becoming more of who you truly are. It's about stripping away the layers of fear and self-doubt that society has placed upon you and reconnecting with your authentic self. You see, we all come into this world with unlimited potential. We're born curious, fearless, and eager to explore. But somewhere along the way, we learn to be cautious. We learn to doubt ourselves. We learn to fear failure and rejection. But what if I told you that those fears are just illusions? What if I told you that the only real failure is not trying at all? What if I told you that rejection is just redirection guiding you towards where you're meant to be? 
When you embrace silence and act as if you have nothing to lose, you're reclaiming that childlike sense of possibility. You're saying to the world, I'm here, I matter, and I have something unique to offer. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Jim, I have responsibilities. I have people depending on me. I can't just act like I have nothing to lose and I hear you. I'm not suggesting you throw caution to the wind and abandon your obligations. What I am suggesting is that you approach those responsibilities with a new mindset. Instead of seeing your responsibilities as limitations, see them as fuel for your fire. Let them be the reason you push harder, dream bigger, and refuse to settle for less than you're capable of. Because here's the truth. When you succeed, everyone around you benefits. Think about it. If you start that business you've been dreaming of and it takes off, you're not just improving your own life. You're creating jobs, providing valuable products or services, and inspiring others to pursue their dreams. If you take that bold step in your career and land your dream job, you're not just advancing yourself. You're bringing your unique talents to an organization that needs them, and you're opening up opportunities for others to step into the role you left behind. You see, when you act as if you have nothing to lose, you're not being selfish. You're being selfless in the highest sense. You're giving the world the gift of your fullest, most authentic self. But let's get practical for a moment. How do you actually implement this philosophy in your daily life? Well, it starts with awareness. Begin to notice how often you hold yourself back out of fear. How often do you stay silent when you have something valuable to contribute? How often do you talk yourself out of taking action because of what might go wrong? Once you're aware of these patterns, you can start to change them. The next time you find yourself hesitating to speak up in a meeting, take a deep breath and share your idea in any way. The next time you're tempted to put off pursuing a goal because it seems too daunting, take one small step forward anyway. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's action in the face of fear. And the more you act courageously, the more courageous you become. It's a self-reinforcing cycle. Now, let's talk about the power of silence in this process. Silence isn't just about not speaking. It's about creating space in your life for reflection, for deep thinking, for connecting with your true self. In our hyper-connected world, we've lost the art of being alone with our thoughts. We fill every moment with noise, with stimulation, with distraction. But it's in those quiet moments that our best ideas emerge. It's in silence that we connect with our deepest values and desires. So I challenge you to create pockets of silence in your day. Maybe it's a morning meditation practice. Maybe it's a walk in nature without your phone. Maybe it's simply turning off the radio during your commute and using that time for reflection. Use these moments of silence to check in with yourself. Are you on the right path? Are you living in alignment with your values? Are you pursuing goals that truly matter to you or are you chasing someone else's definition of success? When you combine this inner silence with outward fearless action, you become unstoppable. You're no longer swayed by the opinions of others or the fear of failure. You're guided by your own inner compass, moving steadily towards your goals with quiet determination. Now, I want to address something that might be coming up for some of you. You might be thinking, Jim, this all sounds great in theory, but what about the practicalities? What about the risks? And you're right to ask these questions. Acting as if you have nothing to lose doesn't mean being reckless or irresponsible. It means being willing to take calculated risks in pursuit of what truly matters to you. Before you take any big leap, do your homework. Research, plan, prepare. Use those moments of silence to really think through your decisions. But don't let the need for certainty paralyze you. Remember, there's no such thing as a sure thing in life. Every great achievement, every breakthrough, every innovation started with someone willing to take a chance. And here's the beautiful thing. When you act from a place of inner silence and fearless authenticity, you'll find that the universe has a way of meeting you halfway. Opportunities will open up. The right people will come into your life at the right time. What seemed impossible will suddenly become possible. But it all starts with you. It starts with your willingness to be silent, to listen to your own inner wisdom. It starts with your courage to act, to put yourself out there, to risk failure in pursuit of something greater. Now, I want to talk about something that's often overlooked when we discuss success and achievement. And that's the importance of character. You see, acting as if you have nothing to lose isn't about being brash or arrogant. It's about having such a strong sense of who you are and what you stand for that external circumstances can't shake you. This kind of unshakable character is built in silence. It's forged in those quiet moments of self-reflection where you grapple with difficult questions and make tough choices. Who do you want to be? What do you stand for? What legacy do you want to leave? When you have clarity on these fundamental questions, you become unstoppable. Because no matter what challenges you face, no matter what setbacks you encounter, you know who you are, what you're working towards. This is where the real power of silence comes in. In a world that's constantly trying to tell you who you should be, Silence gives you the space to discover who you truly are. And when you act from that place of authentic self-knowledge, you're not just going through the motions. You're living with purpose, with passion, with conviction. Now let's talk about fear for a moment. 
Fear is the number one thing that holds people back from living the life they're capable of. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the thing about fear, it's rarely based in reality. Most of the things we fear never come to pass. And even if they do, they're rarely as bad as we imagined. In fact, often the things we fear most turn out to be blessings in disguise, pushing us to grow in ways we never would have otherwise. When you act as if you have nothing to lose, you're not eliminating fear. You're simply refusing to let it control you. You're saying, yes, I'm afraid, but I'm going to do this anyway because it's important to me. And here's a secret. The more you act in spite of fear, the less power fear has over you. Each time you face your fears and survive, which you always do, you become a little bit stronger, a little bit braver. But remember, this journey isn't about becoming fearless. It's about becoming fearless. It's about reducing the power that fear has over your life, one courageous action at a time. Now, let's bring it all together. Being silent and acting as if you have nothing to lose is about living with intention. It's about making conscious choices rather than just reacting to life. It's about being proactive rather than reactive. In silence, you set your intentions. You clarify your goals. You connect with your deepest values. And then you act. You put those intentions into practice. You pursue those goals with everything you've got. You live those values even when it's difficult. This is how you create a life of purpose and meaning. This is how you achieve things you never thought possible. This is how you become the best version of yourself. But here's the beautiful thing. When you live this way, success becomes almost inevitable because you're no longer paralyzed by fear or indecision. You're no longer wasting energy on things that don't matter. You're focused, you're determined, and you're willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. And even if you don't achieve the specific outcome you were aiming for, you'll have grown so much in the process that you'll still come out ahead. Because the ultimate goal isn't some external measure of success. The ultimate goal is becoming the person you're capable of being. Now, I want to address something that might be coming up for some of you. You might be thinking, Jim, this all sounds great, but I'm not sure I'm ready for such a big change. I'm comfortable where I am. And to that, I say comfort is overrated. Comfort is the enemy of growth. All the best things in life happen outside your comfort zone. That's where you discover what you're truly capable of. That's where you find your purpose, your passion, your purpose, your passion, your power. So I challenge you to get uncomfortable. Take that step you've been afraid to take. Have that conversation you've been avoiding. Pursue that dream you've been putting off. Because here's the truth, the discomfort of growth is far less painful than the discomfort of staying stuck where you are. Remember, every great achievement in human history started with someone willing to step out of their comfort zone. Every innovation, every breakthrough, every revolution began with someone who was willing to act as if they had nothing to lose. So why not you? Why not now? As we wrap up, I want to leave you with a final thought. The philosophy of being silent and acting as if you have nothing to lose isn't just about personal success. It's about making a difference in the world. When you live this way, you inspire others. You show them what's possible. You become a beacon of courage and authenticity in a world that desperately needs both. Imagine a world where more people live this way, where more people were willing to listen deeply before speaking, where more people were willing to take bold action in pursuit of their dreams. What kind of world would that be? I'll tell you what kind of world it would be. It would be a world of innovation and progress, a world of deeper connections and greater understanding, a world where people are living up to their full potential instead of playing small. And here's the amazing thing, that world begins with you. Right here, right now, with the choices you make today, tomorrow, and every day after that. So I challenge you, embrace silence. Use it to connect with your true self, to clarify your goals, to gather your strength. And then act. Act boldly, act courageously, act as if you have nothing to lose. Because in truth, the only thing you have to lose is the opportunity to become the person you're meant to be. Remember, life is not a dress rehearsal. This is the real thing. You don't get a second chance to live this day, this moment. So make it count, be silent, listen deeply, and then act with everything you've got. The world is waiting for you. Your dreams are waiting for you. Your best self is waiting for you. All you have to do is be quiet enough to hear the call and brave enough to answer it. So my friends, will you answer that call? Will you embrace the power of silence? Will you act as if you have nothing to lose? The choice is yours, and I believe in you. I believe that you have greatness within you waiting to be unleashed. Go out there and show the world what you're capable of. Be silent, be bold, be unstoppable. Because when you live this way, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Thank you.